Hey, what's good? My name is Daniel Plies, very German name. We're in Hamburg, Germany today, and these are my five essential venues in the city. We're down at the harbor in Hamburg now. This is my favorite venue in Hamburg. Welcome to Hafenplan. So we're at Hafenklang now. It's in such an iconic location. Like Hamburg Harbor is right across the street. You can see it from the windows here. Also what's interesting about this, this is like a really modern area. You would have nice restaurants and like furniture stores. But in between all of this, you have like this punk, metal and hardcore venue. And there's like posters and stickers all around the side. This venue has a capacity of about 260 people downstairs. You can get a really raw feeling of a band really playing to your face. This venue often gets international bands coming over to Europe and Germany for the first time. Some of my favorite shows here have been Bury Your Dead, lower than Atlantis when they came to Germany the first time. With my side project plan, I played the upstairs with Boston Manor last summer. This venue holds a lot of great memories for me. This is also like a very left-wing location. Hamburg is a very left-wing city, which I'm always really proud of. If you come here, you can expect a very open-minded vibe here, you know? This venue usually gets metal, rock, or punk rock shows, but they would also do like DJ sets, electronic, or like African or dancehall type of stuff. Yesterday, they had a feminist hip-hop artist here. Like, how rad is that? This next spot is Molotov. This will be my go-to place if I want to go dance to some alternative music. So this is Molotov. This place is more indie, punk, like rock-based venue. They also have electronic shows. And what I like most about this venue is like the party series that they have. Like, um, always love going to Deepri Disco, which would be like a shoegazy type of vibe. Uh, but they also have six shows. I remember watching my boys on like Diamond here. Bands like Turbo Start. Uh, it's like the perfect size for a venue, you know? This venue has different floors, which is cool too. And we have this backyard here, especially during summer. It's really cool. This venue sells these shirts that just say Molotov, and you see them. I've seen that shirt all over the place. It's like a classic, iconic shirt. Like, you would have like a CBGB shirt, or whenever you're in Berlin, you would get a Cortex shirt. In Hamburg, if you want like a classic venue t-shirt, you should get the Molotov shirt. Don't get a Hard Rock Cafe shirt. We're right underneath Sternbrücke now. This is a great area for venues. We have a bunch across the street. There's Fundbüro, Bar 227, Astra Stube on the corner. But the best one here is Wagenbau. Let's check it out. This is Wagenbau. Wagenbau is located in a really cool area here in Hamburg, right underneath the train tracks. It's like an area that has a bunch of cool venues. This is my go-to club for techno events. This is where people go for raves every fucking weekend. All black walls, it really has like an industrial feel to it, you know? It's not just raves and techno though. During the week they would have hip hop or trap shows. Once again, it's a really open-minded venue. Anyone's welcome here at Wagenbau, and that's what it's about. Yeah, I would just not re even really come here for a specific artist or DJs, you could come here anytime and it'll be a good time. The parties here at Wagenbau are fucking lit. It gets so sweaty in here that sweat starts dropping from the ceiling and that's when you know it's a good party. Yo, this is the walk-up shot to Hebebühne. Check it out, this is a great venue. We're in the live room here, I'm standing on the stage right now. Hebebühne is a, a newer venue here in Hamburg. They just put it up like two years or three years ago, I think. It's been contributing great parts to Hamburg culture. They're not just hosting concerts here, but also like exhibitions. It's a great place to come to and the people are really nice. Me personally, I've shot music videos here. Um, shout out to my friend Lioba. We shot a music video over in this corner, like they have this piano and the walls. Everything in here just looks really nice. 
The shows that they get at this venue are like in a different genre than the venues we've been to before. It'd be more of like a soul or R&B type of vibe, singer-songwriter and pop music stuff. If you come here to this venue, you can expect like a very relaxed vibe. People like to start conversations here. They talk a lot about cultural stuff and like art stuff. You know, it's not so much like a party vibe here. It's more like a cultural center where people would come together to talk about upcoming projects. Maybe start a band in the rehearsal spaces that they have here too. Yo, sun's out. We got music playing in the background here, open air music, and we're finally hitting a record store now. This is Smallville Records. Let's see if we can find some great records here. We're inside Smallville Records now. This record store is the staple for techno and house records here in Hamburg. The staff at this shop is really deep in the game, like they know what's up. This is not just a record store, but also a label, and they've been around for quite some time, since 2005. I don't think you can find a bad record in the store here. Like everything's really hand-picked and everything you're gonna grab out, you're gonna enjoy listening to. Sometimes I'll just grab like a cover that I like, but just from the good selection that this record store has, I know I'm gonna enjoy listening to it once I go over to the turntables. Like it's really hard to put a vinyl back on the shelf here. And I just think it's really important to support and still have these vinyl stores, you know, like actually have physical copies of music because Fox streaming, what are you gonna do if the internet's gone tomorrow, huh? Who's gonna be listening to your streaming cloud then? This concludes my top five essential venues here in Hamburg. Hamburg is definitely one of the raddest music cities in Europe, no doubt. I feel like it really is up there, even with the bigger cities like Berlin, London. Lots of great artists coming out of this city like Yandile, Kekka, Tokotronic, or recently Einzachtsieben Straßenbande making German rap, almost like an international thing. I hope you caught a vibe watching this. You should come here for yourself, because it really is sick out here. We could only show you so much with like a video like this. Shout out to BIM. I think it's really great what you guys are doing, like providing a platform for younger people, like finding themselves as artists, especially in a city like Hamburg. Musicians and artists is making the world a better place, you know, making it more beautiful. So yeah, keep it real out there and be nice to each other. Thank you.